Good morning, everyone. Happy Tea Tuesday. Today I'm filming before I go to work, and when I start my day, it has to be coffee. So I'm just stirring my coffee, and I put just a little bit of milk, and let's begin this video. Cheers to you. Good morning, Journey. Say good morning to our friends. I actually threw a few little eggs in his bed because today I am showing you my Easter Christmas tree. I'm in my pajamas, that's why you're not seeing me. You're seeing me pet my little buddy and saying good morning to him. This is a collaboration video and the host of Life with Patty and Kathy's favorite things. So I highly recommend you go and check out their channels. So today you are seeing, are you gonna eat those eggs, Journey? We're going to see my Easter Christmas tree. And I'm ending out this video with some photos of Mackenzie Child's spring catalog. It came in yesterday and boy, does that give me inspiration for spring. So I hope you stick around to the end of the video. With all that being said, let's begin. Here we go. So here's the top of the tree. And I am so thrilled with the way this came out this year. Lots of soft pinks, lavenders, touches of blues, and just a bunch of spring eye candy. Yes, I said eye candy, because to me, this tree is so sweet. Almost gives me a toothache. <laughs> I just am so in love with the way this came out. You know, sometimes you're decorating and you're like, oh, I don't know. Well, this year I did a smaller tree so I could add a lot of little details and I am thrilled with them. These little chicks I made last year, I painted them white and I just had a little bit of subtle soft pink flowers. Normally I don't like pink, but boy, when spring is coming, I love using touches of pink because how often do we get to use pink in our homes? And pink, oh, it reminds me of being a little girl. And I just love it. So in the tree, I tucked in greenery and lavender and cherry blossoms and all of those wonderful things we see in spring. Birdhouses, you all know I am a fan of birds. And these are the touches that I wanted to add to my tree this year. Lots of lavender too. A little egg tucked in. I wanted to show these little purses. I buy them from Dollar Tree and I stuff them. And that purse matches the little white Easter hat that I added for a topper. So I hope you enjoy seeing my little Easter tree. And it just, it brings me such joy. When you decorate your house, that's what you want. You want joy. And next to it is a little bench and I've got little black and white bunnies. And this is my black room. As you can see, the wall's black in the back and then I have this white wall here. And I'll be showing more of the room as I get it finished. But the tree is done. Let me know what you think. I tried to hide it so you can't really tell it's a Christmas tree. I tried to put so much greenery that you couldn't really see it and lots of lavender. So I hope you like it. And now I'm gonna end up this little video with some Mackenzie Child's spring inspiration for you. So this is the cover to the catalog. And let's open it up. Oh, so much inspiration, little bunnies and eggs and florals. This cute white bunny, does that not make you feel spring? Now we're moving to the kitchen. Look at this stove, the pots and pans and that chicken that's holding eggs on the top. Love it. Here, I love these bunnies. I love how you can just add a Mackenzie Child's ribbon to the neck of the bunny. And maybe that could be a way we could do it on a budget. So here, just more beautiful little bee over there that I liked. I wanted to show that. And next, a birdhouse. Nope, sorry, beehive. <laughs> In a wreath. Very nice. Here, they're showing these little puppies and this floral couch. 
and over here a chair. For me, I'm not really a huge fan of floral print, but it's pretty to look at. Now here, look at these ducks. I love how in these photos they had all live little ducks. Now we're moving to the flower shop. This page was my favorite. I love this cabinet with the backdrop of the buff of the check and these flower pots. This is actually something I'm considering buying. They were three for $98. And I think I like them because you can change them out and use them all the time. These little rain boots were also cute on that page. They were over my budget. Here, this new watering can and these three little pots, those were $78 for the three. And I'm including here a little clip of the prices of the flower shop because that was my favorite. And if you want to screenshot or take a picture of that or go on the MackenzieChilds.com website and you'll see it all. Here, lots of pink and little tiny black polka dots, just so much sweetness. I just love looking at it. I hope you do. I, it came in the mail and I was like, yes, so cute. This here, the little, little bunny in a basket on a chair. Love it. And I am a big fan of chairs. I love the stripes mixed, the little whimsical look of these in the catalog. Now look at this topiary. Is it not gorgeous? I do love the touches of ribbon and the variety of soft pinks. I just wanted to show, look at this couch. They put these cute little ducks on a couch. Is that not adorable? Here's another picture of just something with these little dogs. I'm not a fan of those myself, but this bunny, yes, with that cute little bow and the florals and more little chicks. What a cute picture. And then I'm ending out with this one. So I hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you so much for watching. Go. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye for now.